So this question starts off by providing this function here, f of t equals 8,000 times 0 0.65 to the t power. Um, before we even read this question, I'm going to let you know that usually when I see questions like this that have a variable in the exponent, I am very interested in understanding what t equals 0 means, like what that variable at 0 is. And that typically helps to solve a lot of what's going on here. Um, so just keep that in mind. So the question here asks, the given function f models the number of coupons a company sent to their customers at the end of each year, right? So that would tell me, again, my t equals zero is basically saying that t, when t is zero, that's the, the end of, you know, well, the beginning, right? So we even had, we have not had an end of a first year. So that means that this company is sending out 8,000 coupons um, at the very start. And then they're going to multiply that by 0.65 uh, the following year, I suppose. So uh, at the end of each year, where T represents the number of years since the end of 1998. So again, at the end of 1998, they're sending out 8,000 coupons because that's where T would equal zero. Um, if Y equals F of T is graphed in the TY plane, which of the following is the best interpretation of the Y intercept? The Y intercept. Well, the TY plane, T and Y, again, when t is zero, y would be 8,000. So what does that represent? Well, that represents how many magazines were sent out at the end of 1998, right? So there have been no years since the end of 1998. It's t equals zero. So the question is asking which of the following is the best interpretation of the y intercept? Choice A says the minimum estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers during the five years. Absolutely not. Choice B, the minimum estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers during the five years. During the five years. No, absolutely not. Although 8,000 is the right number we're dealing with. It's just not for during the five years. Choice C has the wrong number, 1428, so that's gone. And then choice D, the estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers at the end of 1998. Yes, because at the end of 1998, that's where T equals zero. So choice D is the best answer here.